So what I'm going to do today is show you how to update your class list. So at this time you have your classes set up. Every month there will be additions or deletions of students. So if you want to update the Markbook uh, student list, this is how you can do it. Go into Markbook. The website address as you know is markbookapp.com. Sign in. Click OK after entering the credentials here you have the different courses I'm going to select the first course which I want to update my list is current but I just want to show how you can update it open class now if you come to the left you will see my classes and that's what you select and when you select it you will see the menu on the top we hope which gives you a number of options we're going to do update class it's not import or edit class, it's update class from a Trillium file that you get. So here is a generic import. Select the import file. In this case, it's a text file which was exported from Trillium and it will be provided by your administrator. Select open, wait for a moment, click load. Once it is loaded, click next. In this page, where you have to map the fields, the fields in the database with the fields in the text file that you got. The best way to go about it is select auto map fields. That will pre-populate all the mappings with one exception. The courses have not been selected. So this is what you do. You go to import if number one. So I'm going to select that, drag it and drop it into this. Once you've done that, you go to the right side, import parameters, and you have just one condition you want. Import if number one contains, you go and enter the course code as it was given to you, SCH4U11A for the first cohort. And make sure that the date of birth format is right year month day that's the one that you have here on the left and also in this field over here once that is all set you can just click next and i actually have no new additions no deletions but my list is current therefore i don't see any and you're done it shows you the source code from which you imported it so you can click finish that's how you update a class in Markbook.